Hello and welcome to the Red Hydra Photo School. It's been a while and our today's lecture's topic is Light is Color. It is about dispersion and that's what we are going to talk about right now. Within the last lecture we could figure out that light is actually color or better said it consists of colors. As I mentioned in the last lecture too, is that the speed of light varies slightly by passing through different materials, physics and mediums or whatever you want to call it. It means things like glass, diamonds, prisms, water, air or whatever. And this is a big point talking about dispersion. Here we see a classic illustration of a 60 degree prism uh, spreading white light into the different colors of the light spectrum. And um, the visible colors are in the order of the spectrum. Note that in the displayed illustration the colors are distinctly separated. In uh, reality they actually blend into each other um, such that there are colors in between as you see here. Uh, right? So, um, but back to our illustration. Sunlight is often called white light since it's a combination of all the visible colors. I personally do not like this thing, but anyhow. Um, yeah, let's move on to one which is a little bit more explaining uh, and explains a little bit better what's happening during the dispersion. So, uh, let's bring this one up here. So, here you see. Uh, the white light comes from an angle and the uh, refraction occurs at the air glass boundary bending the rays towards the normal as they slow down and another refraction occurs at the glass and air boundary bending the rays away from the normal as they speed up again. An important fact is that when light hits into a thicker medium or material than it comes from, it bends to the normal. If light hits into a thinner medium, that it comes from, it bends away from the normal. This is a law. So, um, the red light bends less because it is refracted less, and we always say blue bends best, even if violet actually does, but BBB is more memorable. I think you agree. So, um, all this happens because each color is refracted to a different degree by the glass, and that is why the colors disperse into a spectrum of light. So um, it has to do with the index index of refraction. Usually you don't see this common rainbow when light hits another medium, but um, I mean, otherwise you would have a rainbow in every glass of water, which actually would be awesome, but uh, that's not the point. Um, it also depends which angles it hits on and the different materials and mediums too. So um, anyway, uh, ah, also, by the way, chromatic aberration um, is actually also some kind of dispersion. Uh, it has the same roots, and it, but it comes up when you have a shitty land, a shitty built land. But that's another lecture we'll come to when we talk about image errors. So um, back to the topic. Since the index of refraction is different for each color and also material, the um, angle of refraction will be different for each color when the light passes from air into glass or another transparent material, how I uh, previously mentioned. So um, the index of refraction is greater for shorter wavelength and um, so the shorter wave wavelengths are light towards the blue end of the spectrum and they have higher indices of refraction and get bent more than light with longer wavelengths. Uh, the one toward the uh, red end of the light spectrum because the index of refraction is smaller for longer wavelength. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, I don't want to display or bump you with numbers right now and uh, index and refraction numbers and so on but uh, uh, because I don't want to go too deep into physics unless you wish so. So in that case please feel free to drop me a message or uh, visit our forum on redhydra.de and I'll be happy to help you out. So uh, I guess we talked about everything we uh, needed to to understand this person. I didn't want to go too deep into the physics, but um, I think I made it uh, pretty understandable for everyone. Yeah, um, I hope this was useful and it makes you or it helped you to understand um, the process of dispersion a little bit. If you should have any questions, just feel free to contact me. You can find me on Twitter, on uh, Facebook or uh, on our webpage, on our forum, you can find the description, uh, you can find the contact information within the video description as well as an overview of all our lectures. So that's it for now. See you soon.